Hi guys, today we're talking about the top five corrections we can make in our body and face posture that are going to dramatically affect the results we're getting from our face yoga routine. If we are working on our face yoga a few minutes a day, 10, 20 minutes a day, and then we're carrying the wrong posture outside 24 hours a day, we're not gonna see the results we want. So this is a very important video. I recommend you follow along with me and then come back to this video anytime you need a little training. Let's jump right into it. Number one, it's going to be the correct body posture. So all together, let's place our feet on the ground. If you can, make sure your legs are not crossed or sitting on one leg. Our butt cheeks are placed evenly into the seat and our hips are facing forward and our hips are even. One isn't up or down or back. They're even and aligned. We're going to hug our navel into our spine. So this not only serves as the base for the whole posture, it's also going to aid in digestion. So when you hug your navel into your spine, everything can leave smoothly. It's going to promote better health and of course, better posture. Your back is straight and then the shoulders. A lot of times we're stressed and we're holding our shoulders up here. We want to take a deep breath in and roll those shoulders back, keep that chest open, just relax the shoulders back, sit up straight, keep your chin parallel to the floor, and imagine you have a string going from the top of your head all the way down to your tailbone. So that's gonna help with keeping your whole entire body straight, the energy is flowing smoothly, and we're not creating any asymmetry in the body. We're not resting our head on one hand, we're not slouched over to one side, we're not hunched over, you know, staring at a computer. Everything is up and open and the energy is flowing smoothly. This is going to dramatically improve any asymmetry issues you have in your body. Maybe when you're driving, you're leaning over on the console or you're standing holding the weight on one side of your leg. Maybe you're resting your arms on the counter. All of these, when you keep noticing and keep practicing, is really going to promote the symmetry in your face. So our faces mimic our bodies. If we're constantly chewing on one side, we're gonna notice a difference in the symmetry. The second one is going to be the tongue posture. First thing is the tongue is always up at the roof of your mouth. Whenever you're not speaking or eating, it should be up at the top of the mouth. What does this mean? So I'm gonna show you from the side what it looks like when the tongue is resting on the bottom of the mouth, which is what we do not want. That, ca that causes and creates a double chin. It's going to make a saggy jawline and we want everything lifted. We don't want everything hanging. So start from the back of your tongue and place it as far back on your tongue to up to the top of the mouth. So. And I'm going to show you what that looks like when we change our position. Hmm? Hmm. I hope you can see that it really just lifts our entire chin up immediately and everything starts moving upwards. So now our tongue is up at the top of the mouth. The teeth are just slightly not touching. Very close together, but not touching. When we hold our teeth together, we're gonna to create tension in the jaw. So our teeth are not touching and our tongue, if this is our front teeth, our tongue is right here. It's not pressing into our front teeth. This is gonna create buck teeth going forward. We, we don't wanna affect our teeth, we just want our tongue lifted so our entire face is lifted. Number three is going to be lifting the mouth corners to a Mona Lisa or a Buddha smile. So what is this? If you look at a picture of the Mona Lisa or the Buddha, they're not mm, making a big cheese. It's just a very slight upward turn of the mouth corners. So not only is this going to make sure that our jowls and our the lower part of our face isn't stretching our mouth down, mm, mm, it's going to actually lift our mood as well. So when you make a tiny smile with your mouth corners, your brain is gonna register that you're happy and you're approachable to other people. You're going to notice such an improvement just by this little change. So raising the mouth corners, just everything looks lifted, happy, rather than pulling down saggy and upset. Number four is going to be breathing through your nose. So breathing through your nose is one of the most important things you can do in the way your face looks and the health of your body. 
So when we breathe through our nose, we're actually filtering and purifying and humidifying the air, preparing it for our lungs. When we breathe through our nose, we're filtering out all the pollutants and allergens and uh, anything in the environment that could harm our lungs. When we breathe through our mouth, we don't get the same effect. So breathing through your nose is going to really help the way your face looks, it's going to help the way your body operates, and it's going to be a complete game changer if you're not already doing this. One tip I have to start training yourself is you may want to paste a piece of tape on your mouth here so that when you're sleeping, you're not accidentally breathing through your mouth. So before you go to bed, you place a little piece of tape on your mouth and that is going to start training you to breathe out of your nose. Number five is going to be releasing tension from the face. So first we'll start with the lower part of the face. We're going to check in with our jaw and make sure we're not carrying any tension. You can feel it or notice, but throughout the day, make sure that you're not grinding your teeth or carrying tension in the jaw. Tension in the jaw is going to create all these type of wrinkles in the lower part of our face, and it's going to make us tense, give us headaches, so we wanna make sure that we're releasing any tension in the jaw. We wanna release any tension in this chin area here. So just feel your chin if it feels activated. Sometimes I, I notice my chin is, is activated, and I have to release the tension just by doing a little massage or just focusing on your chin and releasing that tension. Finally, we wanna release the tension around the mouth. So the lips and the mouth can carry a lot of tension, giving us lip lines, nasal labial folds. To do that, you can blow a few raspberries. So, and just check in, release any tension. If you're unable to blow the raspberries, it's most likely meaning you have tension in the lips. So going ahead and releasing that, and then we'll move to the upper part of the face. Have you ever, for example, been looking at your phone and then the camera accidentally switches on and you notice that you're focusing and you're making these lines here and your, your brows are all scrunched? So we do this without even realizing it. And that's why we wanna consistently check in with ourselves and notice when we're doing this. So we want this area here to be relaxed and open and our forehead to be completely relaxed. We wanna make sure that we're not carrying any tension here and focusing deep with our eyebrows when we're squinting and we're, we're focusing. You wanna make sure that's relaxed and open. So just checking in with the upper part of the face and releasing any tension from the upper part of the face. So let's run through all of these together one time and it's really going to train you into all these correct positions so that when you do your face yoga, you're really gonna see the results that you're looking for. So place your feet firmly on the ground. Your hips and your buttocks are aligned evenly, pressing into each sit bone evenly. Our navel's hugging into our spine. We're sitting up straight. Our shoulders are back and relaxed. Our neck is relaxed and straight. Our chin is parallel to the floor. And we have one line going from the top of the head, head to the tip of the tailbone. Let's breathe in through our nose and make sure our tongue is up at the roof of our mouth. Our teeth are slightly apart, not touching, so we're not creating any tension in the jaw area. We're breathing through our nose, in and out through our nose. Release any tension in the lower part of the face. Check in with your jaw, with your chin, and your lips. Blow a few raspberries if you feel any tension. Give yourself a nice jaw massage. Relax the chin. Do whatever you need to do here to release any tension out of the lower part of the face. Finally, make sure the eyebrows are relaxed. Sometimes when we're focusing, we're raising the eyebrows, we're, we're, we're alert, we're focusing, we're getting things done. We wanna relax the eyebrows down. The eyes should be open wide, but the eyebrows should not raise and create those horizontal lines. And that is going to be it for the top five corrections you can make today in order to start really creating symmetry in your body, you're releasing tension, and you will absolutely start seeing better results in your face yoga practice by implementing these five corrections today. Namaste, and I'll see you in the next video.